Hello guys and welcome back to this video. So in this video we are going to make some changes inside our quiz db helper class. Now in previous video we have made changes inside these questions and also inside this quiz contract and also we have added this new question to avoid the errors. Now I am going to collapse this particular fill questions table. Now first we are going to make changes inside this sqlite creation table command. Now to modify the content of this we need to add another column. So I am going to do what I am just going to add the end of this particular category column. I am going to pressing the control D to duplicate this code and then I am going to specify here a comma. Once I specify the comma then you can see it's actually giving me the error. It's not taking up the comma because we need to specify the comma inside this quotes. So when you specify the comma here not outside the code. So I am going to specify the comma here. Then you can see the error is gone. Then I need to change the return type. So I am going to copy this and I am going to paste it here. And after that we need to change the ID of this. So column and then we need to specify here a column level id. So at this particular when the table is created the schema of the table will be changed means now there should be a one more column will be added that is the level id column inside the database table of name quiz.tb. Also we need to change the version number because we are changing the so many things. After specifying the column you should need to specify here a space because you can see there is a one spacing between every text data type. After the comma there is a one space and also there is also a one space. After doing this we also need to change the version number to 3 so that we can actually recreate the database schema. Now we need to modify the content of this add questions method. So here at the end of this I am going to make a new space and then I am going to duplicate this code and then I will be changing the column to column levels id and instead of fetching the column we need to fetch the column levels which is the get levels. After doing this now it's time to came back and here I am going to just simply collapse this particular method that is get all questions with category and I am going to copy this and I will be pasting it one more time and then I am going to collapse this code and here what I am going to do I am going to just simply changing the name of this method to with category and levels. So I have specified the name of this method and I am going to cut this code and I am taking it at the end of this particular class which is quizdb helper so that we will see only this particular method. Now in previous video I told you that we are going to using the concept of row query which is used to fetch the data but we are go still going to use the concept of projection and selection because this will become more secure because the row query will provide lot of errors and Google doesn't recommend it. I read on the Google's developer.android.com. So that is the reason I am still going to use this approach. I figure out how to actually use the selection projection to actually fetch the data on the basis of two parameters. So this particular method is going to accept a second parameter as well which is of type integer. So first here we is going to accept a level. So here I will be specifying the integer and here we need to specify the levels id. Then specify the comma. Then here I am to remove this particular comma. So this is the levels id. Or you can do that is actually you can specify the capital levels id. So here I made a typo. Levels id. After doing this we need to also fetch another column. So here I want to specify a comma. And then to specify our question table. Not a question helper. It is going to like question table. Question table dot. And then you need to specify the column id. After doing this we need to make the comparison on the basis of two query. So here we need to change the selection parameter. So question table column category and then we need to do what we after doing this we need to specify here a plus sign. So here just make a space and then add a one plus and then you need to specify the enter. And then I am going to start with double quotes and then you need to specify the space. Then you type it here and and then again space. After that come back outside of the double quotes press a space key and then you need to add a plus sign. Then again you need to specify the space then question table dot column and then it's going to be like a column category and then you need to replace this one with the column let's make sure column levels id. So first we are going to select the data on the basis of the levels id. Then again you need to specify here what just specify the space then plus then again space then double quotes then again space equal to then again space then you need to specify the question mark and then again space. Now this is actually integer value. So we need to convert this value because our array is of type string. So we can only pass a string value. So for that we need to specify here a comma in front of this like first we need to specify the comma and then here we need to specify the string dot string dot value of and inside of that we need to specify the levels id. So this particular will convert the integer value into string. Because our array is of type string. That is the reason we need to convert this level id value. Then rest of the things will remain same. But here we need to make one more change. Because we have need to fetch the data also. 
related to the levels. So we are going to duplicate this line of code and then instead of set category, we are going to call here a set levels. We need to set the levels and this is actually of type integer. So we need to call it here get int and then we need to specify the corresponding column that is the column levels id. So now through that we have added all the changes that are necessary for fetching the data on the basis of the level id. We have added here a levels column. Then we change our selection and query which is a selection and selection r which are actually using the concept of selection and projection. Then we have added another level column id and also we make changes inside this particular table creation code and we have increased the database version. And then in previous video we already entered the this questions on the basis of the category and level. So now everything is done on the side of the database. Now everything is done. So now the everything is actually done on the side of the database. So from next video onwards, we are going to actually start fetching the data on the basis of this quiz activity. But first, you need to actually remove this previous application. You need to uninstall this previous application in whichever you are actually testing, whether it's your physical device or maybe a virtual emulator. Then you need to install the fresh application. So I'm going to install this application. Then I will be going to install the application when we are actually fetching the data from the quiz activity. So that's it for this video. In next video, we're going to fetch data from the quiz activity and then we will start the creation of the levels screen and then we are going to add the level lock and unlock functionality. So thank you for watching guys. See you in the next video.